Yo, yo, welcome to episode two of the Trippy Podcast. I'm RJ, joining up with Trippy Mike. Yo, yo, what's happening, guys? Thanks for joining up. We have some updates to get to. GTA 6 might be delayed. Trippy Mike does have a possible theory about crypto in Grand Theft Auto 6, so we'll have to talk about that. That's right. And we did notice something huge from the trailer of GTA 6, something we have to get into in today's episode. Thanks again for joining up. Help out the podcast by hitting the like button, and of course, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking when it comes to the upcoming Rockstar game. With that said, possible bad news, Mike. Let's get right into it. Kotaku, which I don't know if they're too trusted in the gaming industry, but they did come out with an article saying that the GTA 6 production reportedly falling behind. Rockstar urges staff to return to office to avoid delay. So again, take this with a grain of salt. You know, GTA 6 is going to be so pop, so popular that, you know, any type of clickbait type of uh, article or oh. story they can concoct is going to do good. So they're going to come up with it whenever they need a big story, especially on a, you know, Thursday, Friday. Absolutely. I mean, I could also see, uh, you know, a delay happening. Um, yep. And my theory behind that would be because of all the leaks, I think they may, you know, tweak some things. Yeah, change some things in the game and, uh, you know, have some things that aren't linked necessarily uh, that are new. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, you put know, new things in the game they just exa- thought of. Exactly. You never so. know. Yeah, I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2, it looked like it was, you know, set in stone with a release date. And it got delayed, you know, several times. I think it was three times before we finally got, you know, the official release of Red Dead Redemption 2. So that's what kind of creeps me out when it comes to situations with Rockstar. Even though a lot of people think, oh, it's for sure 2025. And man, we really hope it is. But you never know. Unless it's actually done, which it clearly is not, then we don't know for sure. As much as they do want to say early 2025. That said, I think Rockstar does get it done. It's been so long. You know, they do have enough confidence to at least show the first trailer. So I think, you know, it's probably close enough to where they can finish it, hopefully sometime in 2025. What do you think? What's your current prediction? I mean, we'll get into more of the story here, but what are your feelings here? What- I think I think if there's a delay, it will be a couple months, not year. Um, I sometime think will, 2025. Yeah, like late 2025, like instead of early 2025, I could see it during the holiday season instead. I think 2025 is the year. I agree. Kentaku has learned from sources with knowledge of the game's development process that GTA 6 could miss its 2025 release window and slip into 2026. So that is from Kotaku, who I feel like they're wrong more than they're right. I mean, no offense to them. I'm sure they're fine people over there, but we'll see. You know, I'll take it with a grain of salt. That's the story. A return to work mandate. You know, that's a... Kind of a hot topic. Some people think that you should be able to work from home. Um, I tend to think that, you know, really it might be a little bit harder to work from home. You know, where you have the temptations of TV, you know, playing video games, eating food and munchies, you know, that type of thing. Maybe it does. Maybe they could work a little bit better in the office. I don't know. Who knows for sure. But either way, that's the story. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think right now that's a... A hot topic uh, ever since COVID you right, know everyone exactly. was working remote and uh, now you know it's yeah it's dwindling off who because, wants to go back to a cubicle yeah and you know a, a big thing that that isn't really talked about these companies are paying for the uh, the office space and they have no one in the offices. Yeah. They, they're paying for this, so they're being forced to put people back in the office or else cut them because they're basically wasting their money is, like, how the company views it now. Mm-hmm. So, like, th- that's what they're trying to do, get them back into the office instead of uh, allowing the remote work. And, you know, that it does make sense if they're paying for, you know, if anyone was, like, paying for rent, you know, you want to live there. <laughs> yeah, so, now, when it comes idea. to the video game industry, though, what they do is, you know, they slam these guys right before the release date. You know, video games have been notorious for that, where these guys are working overtime plus plus right up until 
you know, that game goes live. Yeah. And with Grand Theft Auto 6 going to be a massive game on just another level, you can imagine, you know, they need these guys more than ever before. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I think they'll uh, get it together and uh, get working on it, and I think it will come together beautifully. Yeah. Easy for us to say, of course, <laughs> but I'm with you. Blind faith at this point, but, you know, we got to <laughs> hope Rockstar can pull this off. So, Mike, in episode one, we did bring up the Gentleman's Club. Well, there's something that we have to give a shout-out to Trippy September. She noticed. Make it rain Mondays. And I'm pretty sure all of us have noticed that, of course. But I think it's a huge deal, maybe a bigger deal than I realized. Because it's a special event, right, on a Monday. Now, GTA V does have days of the week. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't matter. You know, they don't really have special things that happen each day. I think this is confirmation that there's going to be unique things to happen each day. You know, Sunday, maybe there'll be a football game at the Vice City Stadium. Uh, Monday, you know, I don't know, people are depressed or something. Perhaps this is going to be a really big upgrade to the GTA engine. Make It Rain Mondays is Rockstar's subtle clue telling us that the days of the week are going to be much more important. Absolutely. I think maybe the um, timing, uh, how the timing is in the game is maybe going to be different than other games. We'll see. Uh, maybe more realistic. Um, I, I don't know, but I do think that there are going to be missions, certain missions on certain days of the week. Exactly, or certain yeah. events mm -hmm. on certain days of the week. Yeah, Definitely. I mean... I, one game it kind of reminds me of is the Pokemon games, you know, because you can only catch a, you know, Squirtle on a Tuesday at night. Some not That's, of course, not how it is, but <laughs> just as an example, perhaps it could be something like that. You know, if you go fishing, I'm guessing fishing will probably be in the game. Catch a, you know, sailfish off the coast of the Keys only on a Saturday. Perhaps a great white shark. There's been stories recently about great white sharks in the Gulf of Mexico. Rockstar probably knows about that. Uh, that's just a you know an example. You know you could have something that happens at the mall on a Tuesday. You know, celebrity sighting or something in Miami. You never know, but I think it is going to be a big deal. Let us know what you think. I think it could be a crucial element to the storyline, and maybe even not just days, months, years. Absolutely. I mean, we have proof here mm -hmm. of. One day of the week, Monday. Make it rain Mondays. So, what else could there be other days of the week? Mm -hmm. For sure. Years? You think you could go, you know, three years if you just really slow play the story mode. And all of a sudden, you know, you got Lucia's pregnant. You know, she, she gives birth, you have a kid. And then, I don't know, you could go through cycles, really. It's, it's possible. I'm not sure if they got that, that deep. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. with Rockstar, I, I, you never know. Absolutely. So we'll see. I mean, the things they can do with AI nowadays. So, speaking of the future, Mike, you think that even crypto will be included in GTA 6? Now we've seen the stock market. You know, you can make money, go blow up a plane, and then you know, if you have the stock of the competitor, then you could actually profit in Grand Theft Auto. So I'm sure they'll bring that back for GTA 6, but you think that somehow crypto could be in the game as well. You know, of course, the cryptocurrency. Absolutely. I think that crypto, actual real-life crypto, may be involved. See, so that could I'm, be I'm, genius. You know, yeah, I, I'm just sort of speculating here. and uh, I feel like that could be something in Grand Theft Auto Online. Yeah. You know, the next GTA Online, because then they can include... You know, you do this mission, you steal crypto, you steal some sort of, you know, Rockstar bank coin, you know, Rockstar coin from a bank. And then, you know, if you do it, then you get a little bit into your, your wallet. You know, you get the Rockstar coin. Just an example of well, maybe what they could call it. Yeah, that's another theory. Uh, a coin they actually make before the game comes out that they've, like, kept secret that they've been working on. Um you know, say they do come out with a rock star coin or, or you know, like Vice City uh, okay. Peso or whatever, you know, like something 
some sort of crypto that they release for this game for that specific reason that's you know it would be genius because horrible. that would give people incentive to possibly do a bank heist and get crypto in real life that's right and then they're playing the game more that's right especially gta online you know they've made so much money off of shark cards perhaps they could make a shark card type of crypto or whatnot even if it's just in the game you know even if you're not making money in real life if you're making money in gta online that you can use that money to buy sports cars and you know who knows what they're gonna have i think they're gonna make stuff even more rare but uh yeah if they could connect that to a crypto so you know we have that compared to what was in gta 5 this is a big gap 10 years between the, the games crypto wasn't even invented there was no bitcoin when gta 5 came out or at least you know not to the extent of the popularity that it is right now so uh, they're going to have to have that type of stuff. Crypto, you know, stocks probably are going to be even more involved than they were in GTA 5. They can evolve that. They can kind of evolve that to something even cooler. And uh, any more examples of what you think could be, you know, kind of something new wave, maybe like robots, like with Tesla. Yeah. Perhaps they could have some robots in GTA 5. Some self-driving vehicles, yeah. something like that. Definitely robots. That's definitely going to be visited in some capacity. Now, in our neck of the woods, Tampa Bay, Florida, which looks like it'll probably be included in the game. We don't know for sure yet. You know, we'll talk about that on an upcoming podcast. But they are testing out here air taxis. They're pretty much overgrown drones, helicopters. They don't even have a fin, no tail to them. And, you know, in the future, near future, we might be able to take almost like a, a Uber type service in a helicopter a drone helicopter to take us around wherever you want to go that's right um they are testing that around here um you won't catch me dead in one of those things no pun intended mm -hmm. uh <laughs> yeah, i mean no, no, it would make sense from a gta aspect it'd be kind of a, a good shortcut oh for sure um but yeah I, i'm i'm good on that i'm gonna pass um i'll let other other people try it out i'm sure it's pretty expensive too i, I wonder what it costs i haven't seen a price tag prototype mode right now yeah so uh should be interesting to see how it evolves self-driving cars however that's been around for a yeah. while and i think that's guaranteed gonna be in the game you know how if you get into a bad accident with an electric car that thing could blow up, you know, batteries, <laughs> perhaps will have different explosions, you know, for the coil for the electric car compared to a gas car. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's the true next gen, you know, trying to think what are the definite things that are going to be new in GTA six. We actually have some vehicles we think are for sure going to be in the game that have never been featured in a Grand Theft Auto before. So that is definitely going to be a, a topic of discussion for podcast number three some more podcasts that i want to do we're gonna have some in-game podcasts including a gta 5 fort zancudo podcast because one thing that i'm really looking forward to gta 6 what are they going to do with the next level military base how are they going to top fort zancudo so uh, i think it'll be a cool challenge send trippy mike into the base see if you can steal a jet all the while you know we can discuss what we expect from the military base in GTA 6. Absolutely, I, I'd love to uh, take a shot and see what I can do. I mean, we live next to the McDill Air Force Base here in Tampa Bay. Uh, big time Air Force Base, you think that could be in the game? I think so, I think it will be in the game, definitely. Yeah. Um, they have the top Fort Zancudo, we know what we're dealing with with that one. There was a UFO hovering above it, a uh, secret basement level that we still have never got into. I think the military base is going to be next level. We'll talk about that. And, uh, of course, we have some vehicles that we have to predict. And any updates that come along the way. Uh, one more thing I wanted to talk about in the next podcast as well, Mike, is the map of GTA 6. It's going to be massive. Yeah, it is. It's going to be huge. And I can't wait to see what comes out as time goes by. You know we're going to get a bunch of different leaks on the map here. Mike, thanks for joining up, my man. Definitely glad to be here. Can't wait for the next episode. And, uh, you know, what we got in store. GTA 6. Definitely can't wait for that. 
yeah, we got your back. We'll keep you updated on anything new that comes down the pipeline. I think Rockstar is going to give us an update soon. Of course, today we talked about a possible delay. I don't think we should be too worried, but uh, it's never, never good news when you get stories like that. That is for sure. I still have PTSD from Rockstar delaying Red Dead Redemption 2, I think, three times before actually releasing it to the world. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they throw at us in this game. I know crypto is going to be in it in some capacity. How is it going to be? Is it actually going to be usable? Or is it just going to be a little shout out? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, if there's crypto in the game, then props to you. You get the prediction right. I think we'll find out soon enough. Don't forget, subscribe if you are new. We're going to have an upcoming live episode of the podcast. Watch out for that. And of course, we'll be live all the time here. Trippy commentaries. So for Mike, I'm RJ. Peace out. Later, guys. And what should they do, Mike? Stay trippy.